Hello and welcome to the Life in Ohio vlog for this week. I'm your host Joel McLaughlin here and I'm driving to church this morning <laughs> a little bit. Okay, so what am I going to show you today? Well, today I am going to go ahead and give you a house update. I'm going to give you a little tour through the home on what things have been done this week. Now, I want to say right now, what I think is done is some plumbing work. They've been uh, working hard in the house as of late, which is a good thing. Uh, the harder they work on that thing, the quicker I am in it. Now, I'm not driving through a parking lot and going through these stupid sewer grades. It, this apartment complex is the worst when it comes to how the road is around, you know, the road and the parking lot around the uh, complex is, it's really bad. Um, there's these, all around the drains are horrible. <laughs> They're just, oh, really not, not so good. So, all right. Um, so where was I? Oh, oh, yes, home update. So, my son sent me some pictures earlier. Hopefully the heater doesn't go over this. But anyway, uh, my son and my wife, they went down earlier this week while I was working and they uh, ended up taking some pictures down there. I've seen what they've done so far. Looks like they had a... Uh, um, some plumbing work done, bathtub put in, uh, shower uh, in our bedroom has been put in, steps put in, so I'll get to show you the future 80s arcade studios uh, that will uh, have the, uh, the studio that I'll be doing editing of these videos and other stuff in. So. Um, I may go upstairs just to see how things are, um, but I gotta be very careful because we're not at drywall yet, and right now, uh, you basically, once you go up there, it's just frame, frame, framework, there's no walls, so if I trip and fall or something, I could, could, uh, seriously get hurt, <laughs> so I gotta be very careful when I go up there, um. So I may not go all the way up, but I just got to be very careful. So, <clears throat> but uh, that's home things. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is uh, pandemic things. Now, in Ohio, they have, as of March 11th, they have decreased the age that you have to be. They, Ohio kind of did this smart and they were giving it um, priority to those that are most affected by this like my father-in-law and people like my dad you know they're they're older up in their years anyone above 70 and all that uh, but as of the 11th what they ended up doing they ended up changing this so that uh, the uh, age, minimum age is 50. Now, I'm still not 50 yet. I will be uh, here in a few weeks. But uh, they've also added those with type 2 diabetes, which I unfortunately have. So uh, that means both my wife and I can finally go get the vaccine. My wife's not really that interested in getting it. I completely understand her viewpoint, and I'm not going to try and make her do it. Uh, because I can't so uh, that is where I'm at with that so now here is a difficult situation I am on the freeway oh I see what it is there's a looks like a deer on one side how, now how in the world can you do that now, Ohio, and I got a ticket about a year ago. I got a ticket for this, um, where you're supposed to 
have like a if they're off the left hand side of you or on the right hand side doesn't really matter whatever side whoa anyway um he's gutsy with all those cops down there um so the way it works in ohio is if there's somebody either either say somebody's got somebody pulled over or they've got um something you're taking care of on the side of the road and they got their lights on you're supposed to have like a lane between you like for example if they're on the right hand side uh you don't want to be in the right hand lane okay if they're off the right hand side same thing with the left hand side just a moment ago i had one on the left and one on the right so no matter which middle lane i was in i would still have somebody i was would not have that lane between me and the in the the police <laughs> so good luck with that but uh, so in one side that guy was taking care of a dead animal the other side someone had a speeder pulled over go figure so all right enough enough babbling enough babbling uh, uh, pandemic like I said we can finally get the vaccine I have my name in Meyer. Meyer actually, I think, has the best way to do this in that um, you put your name on a list, and then they text you when when you uh, when they have a spot for you. So that is probably the best way. Some of these others have weird systems where you uh, uh, put. I don't know how that works, but basically, like a like a. Giant Eagle has one where they where you put your your name and stuff in. Actually, I'm trying to remember if you put your. I don't know if you. It doesn't matter whether you put your name in, but you put something in, and then you go into a queue. And then, once the queue expires, then it's now your turn, and now you can go see if there's any appointments. And nine times out of ten, there are no more appointments. So part <laughs> that's one of the bigger problems is. Uh, part of trying to get those if you want to get in a place that's convenient to you um it's a little difficult all right that's one and the other is uh it's a um, everyone wants to get it now because they're really anxious for life to get back to normal um there are some who don't um like i said i don't care you it, it should be voluntary, especially where we're at at this time in the vaccination process. Let's face it, they haven't, it just came out, you know, less than a year from the time the stuff started to when the vaccine was out. First is a miracle. Second, it's also a little bit on the risky side because you don't know uh, what kind of uh, reactions you're going to get. Now, for, for me, I'm satisfied there's been enough people worldwide that's got it. I'm not saying that. There aren't anybody that was hurt by it. There are. But so far, the numbers that are being hurt aren't high. You know, you're talking maybe uh, around 2,000 for all of the United States, over the millions of vaccinations that have already occurred to, uh, you know, how many, you know, millions of that. So the percentage is low. I'm doing it mostly because of my uh, diabetes and the fact that I am obese uh, and I just don't you know I'm not scared of the virus but I'm not scared of the vaccine either so I'm figuring you know if I, at least if I get the, the antivirus or the, the antivirus the vaccine I, I can uh, not worry about being restricted travel wise and stuff like that which I think is wrong too but there's going to be countries that are going to do that so all right, well, I am going to finish driving the church, and what's going to come next is some video of the house. Hello and welcome to the house. I'm down here at the house, standing here in front of the garage. Let's go ahead and take a look. All right. So we're in the garage. I'm walking in the garage here. We're going to take a look and see what all is done. All right, so here, there's the spigot in the garage, 
And then, of course, as we saw this last week, there's the furnace. He's all set. Furnace and air conditioning window. And down here is the dryer vents. And they got the water plumbing for the washer. All right, let's see what else we got done here. Okay, here's the window in the kitchen. That's not done. It also looks like um, they got the gas line in. Gas line. And here's some more plumbing work. There's the one where the refrigerator will go right there because we got water and ice in the refrigerator. All right. Here's the fireplace, and there's the flex gas line in there for the fireplace. All right. You can walk through into the master bedroom here. And let's see what we got in the back. There's the wiring for the air conditioning. No actual electrical work done just yet. And here's the drain pipe. Actually, hold on, I'm looking at the shower there. We'll look at that here in a minute. Drain pipe for, or water piping and drain pipes for the uh, Sinks, they're gonna go right there. A couple sinks right there, and then of course, here is the shower in the master bathroom. That's a my shower, that's much bigger than our old one. Uh, since we're just in framing, still mostly, here's our closet. I'm just gonna go ahead and walk through here. This is gonna be where the toilet will be. Water pipe done there. All right. So we'll walk into this bedroom here. All right. This is the uh, closet. All right. And it's into the hallway and then into where my son's bathroom is. He, he's got a bathtub. With a shower. Alright. And that. Looks like they might have been doing some pressure testing here too. Get it up there. Yep. They left a little tool there. No big deal. Alright. I'm going to walk out here. And into the other bedroom. Which will be my wife's office area probably. Windows there. All right. So now the most exciting part. Whoop! Oh, I'm filming myself. Okay, let's go upstairs. Wow. This is going to be my office space up here. This is going to be awesome. Right, let's go up and finish going up here. So here's my office space. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to like this a lot. Now what I'm probably gonna do, I don't know where I'm gonna put the uh, desks and stuff. It looks like my vents on the wall. Here's my window. 